Hello everybody, it's Lennon. Today I have an update on July 1st, 2016 for my custom LEGO City of Studston. Today we're going to take a close look at what I've done in the last month of June and kind of do a little bit of look, a little bit of, yeah, a look at some of my plans for the next month and for my city in time past that. Starting over at this end of the city, we find the Beehive Industrial District, which currently houses a, what's going to become a arts and IT, IT center a laundromat, an undetermined 12 by 16 module base building, my bank, my city maintenance yard, and my custom fire medical rescue station. Here's a closer look at the front of that building, which is still currently definitely, as you can probably, I'm hoping you can tell, is in progress. Here's a closer look also at the laundromat and the vacant lot next to it, which I, which I have yet to decide what to put there. The laundromat will have a secondary floor added up onto it on top. Another thing I attempted to do was tie was tiling this, my city's name of Studston in the sidewalk at the front. Of course there's things sitting on top of it right now which makes it kind of hard to see and it's just really kind of squished font so that becomes a bit of a problem. For example, this is attempting to be an N but that's kind of hard to see if you can't tell. So you kind of have to know what it says to be able to read it. This section has sadly become a bit of a parts trove but this will eventually house a miniature park. I'm hoping to get the fun of the park uh, minifigure pack even though I don't know if that will happen. Not, I'll pop it with my own minifigures and own little things. You know, I do have to admit that baby mold and that wheelchair mold would be awesome to be able to have around the city. This next section is a mobile tra is a train platform and a automated railroad crossing. It's actually motorized. This is why this hub exists here. I have a manual input line and my motor switch. Right now, I have a flashing lights mechanism, but I stole the lights for a custom train I'm working on. So, for now, it doesn't actually have flashing lights, but as the mechanism to be able to do it. Eventually, I will give this thing some love and put some more money into it, so that way it's fully functional. Until then, it at least looks cool. Of course, my city maintenance yard sits in the back corner. I recently tried a new vehicle arrangement, and I am going to get rid of those garbage trucks. They really don't fit a city maintenance crew. They do, but they don't. And more or less, though, I didn't do much maintenance on the yard, because <laughs> it is a maintenance yard, ironically. But I did do some outfitting on the trucks, and not all of them, of course, you see are not in there. And I'll show you the new ones and some of the rebuilds I did on, of course, those, my sub pump and my street sweeper. So those I will be eventually getting videos on for trying to work on getting those out pretty soon, actually. Here's a look at my Studston Fire Medical Rescue Station. Currently, it is a five-bay station housing 11 apparatus. That one sitting out front is actually going to be for sale. I'm selling that one, and that's not going to be there anymore. In fact, technically the 11th apparatus would be the helicopter, so really 10, but you get the idea. It's not complete yet, but I just gotta do sleeping quarters above the garage and the roof for everything. And I'm getting pretty I'm getting really close on that mock, which is good, because it's been a big pain to do. On the road, there's a couple new mocks for this month. That police car is new, that red sports car, and I know that's a 6 way build, and I've sworn off 6 to the way builds. I don't know, I was trying it. I'm consider I might go there, we'll see. It'll definitely still be smaller. This is a custom version of the racing bike transport. That's uh, that's a I you can check out the time lapse build on that. I'll also do an in-depth review on that too, very fairly soon. That's you know it it's new. That truck has always been there, and now we come to the bridge. This bridge is something I'm starting on. Eventually, I'd like to do an arch span bridge. This is gonna be all cardboard. I'm gonna try to paint it too, and probably glue it in such a way that you can't see, at least use thick enough paint. You don't see the tape. I'll see what I can do. It's better than the. It's better than trying to get the parts for one because it's there's not much height, and I, I know Lego bridges do exist. You can't build them all the time, but still, I have cardboard, and so that's what I'm gonna do. Train bridge, of course, I need to do one too, which will match the style of an arch span bridge, but that's in the future. Here we are in downtown, which is also been a town. A section which used to have all the major buildings, but then got them moved out, like the bank, which I just didn't finish and everything, and, and all that fun stuff. This currently, though, I'm working on trying to get stuff done, but it is what it is. Up front here is the start of my custom police station. I really haven't been able to give this thing much love because I've been using the panels originally in the previous version on other buildings. I do need to order some large white panels for it. I will still be able to do some work on the ground floor. I have a few panels left. So I'll give it some love. But I don't know how much, how far I'll be able to get to that, how far I'll be able to get done on it, and how much work I'll be able to do on it, though. But I'll see how much love I can give it. Down there, you will see my custom. This is a, it's gonna be a shop complex. Still gotta do a lot of work in there. I still got a major blaze going on there, which the fire department knocked out a long time ago. But that's a whole other story. That van, by the way, is something that I'm selling. So again, not gonna go much detail into it. Uh, right in front of me, I guess I can take, take a quick glance 
almost straight down, staring down. <laughs> and on this plot, this is my octane gas station, or what's supposed to be, in theory, would be my octane gas station. Still, this has been the longest sitting plot that has not had anything done. I've said in past months I'm going to get it done, I just need to do it. It's not going to take very long, I should have the parts to do it. No, I'm sorry, the building's that big, it's not that big. So, we'll see what I can do. That should be, that's going to be a project for in the future I'm really going to try to work on. One thing that knows that police car base at the star of a K9 SCB. We'll see how that goes, that's that mock I'm working on right now. Of course, I got the IC in the background. That train is what I've been working on, it's got lights in it. Uh, that's supposed to say Trek. I'm gonna, it's a, it's a passenger, high speed passenger train. I'm gonna do sideways building lettering on that because I'm pointing the wrong area. Great. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna do the best I can. Pointing the wrong area again? Wow. Okay, respect of the camera compared to my perspective. And so I'm gonna work on that. Of course, there's the high C, which has been there for a long time. In the back corner there, where my tram is now sitting exposed, I can't hide behind the building anymore. That is my. What it was my I was my custom bank and the laundromat was hiding behind where that truck was sitting piled on top of stuff right now. But I'm going to I'm gonna put a repair garage two bay uh, repair garage there. Or garage or garage, however you want to pronounce that. Actually, it's not how I put it, but I've heard like a couple of different pronunciations. Coming over here, I have figured out finally. I've had a couple ideas what I'm gonna put in here. I've had ideas and I forgot about them, and so I figured out the final idea. This is going to be a vet shop, and I'm getting started. I'm actually going to use a different type of base, but window layout's going to be roughly. And right here, this is, these are a couple of new mocks I have. This is a custom excavator. I'm going to be putting a video on that, hopefully, in the next couple of days. Custom dump truck for my city main insecure. This is a uh, detachable gooseneck trailer transport truck. This is a Paris fire truck tiller cab I've been working on. You can check, ooh, see a little bit better look at my look at my custom Lego uh, fire ladder tiller review. By the way, it's not you won't see this one. You'll see my other one. And uh, of course, you got my little. This is all. This truck's also new. That's older. And of course, it's older down over there too. That's a railroad maintenance truck. I, run, I decided to do the same color scheme as my passenger train for that. Right. I guess getting back to the buildings though. This is going to be a thing related to Lego somehow. This is going to be a like. Uh, Whole, like a natural earth food store kind of thing, and this will be a little coffee shop. A little co little police and their coffee and donut joke with a police only parking spot out front. Back here is going to eventually be what's called the Oak Tree Residential Area, <laughs> at least what's supposed to be. And yeah, that basically all oh, goes over there, it's going to be replacing that tan one. But as you can see right now, big construction zone, got some like fun construction mocks. The only fun part is I only want one flatbed transport, and there's one hiding back there, you can barely see it. Sorry, this camera position doesn't want me to show very much. Here we go. There's a big hand of creation. There we go. There you can see that. Um, that's gonna. These two buildings are also gonna go. I don't like them. I want set custom mocks back here. But um, currently, it's just construction because again, parts and of course I don't really have base plates that are that good. Those are all little base plates really. So I need to go buy some base plates and everything. Nothing really new over here. Of course, my custom street paper is kind of hiding back in the corner. But yeah, that's really about it over here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and for dealing with sometimes my lack of uploading. I'm going to ask you guys to please stay tuned because more videos are on the way. I'm working on them. i got plenty of time right now. It's summer for me, which means the U.S. means no school, so I don't have anything to really work on. So I'm, I'm of course, going to be doing some modeling and stuff, so I'll see what I can do. But again, thank you guys so much for watching, and are you ready? Because there's more to come. Bye for now.